Hey everybody, it's Billy at Baker Show Tough Man. We got something super cool for you today. Uh, we have our part three in this kitchen makeover and it is, I'm telling you, it is fantastic. We're here with Pat Callahan, Pat Callahan Tile, partnered up with Tony Marion from Stockdale Tile, and of course, Nicole from Be Home in the house. Nicole, I gotta ask you, because I know that you'd been wanting a kitchen for a long time. Yeah. What, what was your expectations on this? What did you think you were gonna get? This has ex actually exceeded my expectations. Um, the granite with the stonework, it is spectacular. And then it was so spectacular that we had to put it in other places in our home as well. Yeah, we just wanted to keep spreading the love around the house, right? Yeah, in fact, I'll tell you. Yeah. You know, one thing too is like Nicole, like the, the stone was so beautiful that she was like, don't throw any of the scrap pieces yeah. away. I want to keep them. And, yeah. and we're going to show you some cool things that actually were made from those. Yeah, Pat was that, able to make some really awesome. I guess extra pieces for yeah. Yeah, they're like hot plates, cut more. Yeah, it's, you want to call it's them. awesome. It's just all leftover stuff. You can do all kinds of things with it. Right. Do you, do you see big makeovers? I mean, big changes. Like you go into a home, and then when you leave, you're like, "Whoa, this is like a completely different house than it was when I got here." Yeah, I try and encourage people to take before and after because you know they they'll usually go, "God, I should have taken pictures of what it used to look like," because I can't believe how much different it looks and the bit and the big transformation. So that that's a good thing if you're going to do that. Do that and you can save it and look back and see what it used to look like. You know, I kind of consider this, I don't want to say a big risk, but there is a lot of things on there that um, people that might be hesitant to kind of push the edge, you know, maybe wouldn't do, oh, you know. Yeah. And I, I would imagine you see that, right? There are some people that are willing to really throw the dice and like... Some people that want to be really safe and I can usually tell which person that is. And there's some people I can tell who want to be creative and I can kind of push that and, and, and make it a really nice project. Well. I say we show it to him, and uh, this is amazing. I can't wait for everybody to see it, and uh, awesome job on this. Let's show him what we got. Let's show him. All right. Here we go. Well, we're here, and I can tell you, Pat, this is absolutely beautiful what you've done here. And uh, man, before we get into this, I want to say that your employees, you have two sets of guys, right? You have a granite set and a tile set. Correct. Yeah. Right? I can tell you that those are some of the nicest people I've ever met. And uh, never once, I'm really picky, I think Nicole will tell you that, and that uh, they never ever said, oh man, come on. They were like, yeah, let's do it. Whatever you want, man, we'll do it. Well, that's great. I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to make you happy and uh, get your job done right and correctly. And that way I'll be happy and you'll be happy. Right. I mean, they're, they're the front men for you, right? I mean, they yeah. represent your company, they so, mean, yeah. And they're they're hands-on, so. Right. Okay, I want to show them this beautiful piece of fusion granite. This thing is absolutely eye candy. It's a flowing river of minerals and, man, just who knows, but quartz, quartz and different types of stone different types of heat ranges that made this all happen. This is a piece of archaeology brought into this home, right? Millions of years old. Millions of years, man, and it is beautiful. I want to kind of zoom in here. And you know one thing that's really nice about this, and maybe the camera won't get it, but this has beautiful right. pieces of cyan that's cutting favorite, through it. My favorite part is yeah. what sold me on this is yeah. actually the blues are my favorite color. Yeah. And that was one of the reasons why we picked this lab um, yeah. is because of those pretty colors. Oh yeah, people walk in and see two pieces of stone laid out book match and they just have to have it. You gotta have it. Yeah. Right. And this, this is, it's called book match right here. Yeah, I was gonna show them this. Now, Tony at Stockdale Tile said you're one of the few people in town that can do this correctly. And so let's talk about how this happens. When you get, when you get slabs, right, they come from the same quarry, they come right. from the same block, and what right. they do is they slice them like loaves of bread, yeah. right? And that creates mirrored... That's mirrored image. Mirrored images, right? But because to get the book maps, they've got to turn one around the other direction and then right. polish it. Right, and that's what you've done here. Let's show them what we, what we mean by that. You can see, and you can't, it's hard to even see where the seam is. It's, it's perfectly cut. I mean, it just is. There's a seam right up here. See, it goes right up the middle. And if you notice, this granite, is an identical match to this granite. Which is what I refer to as book match, and that's right. the hardest part, to get these pieces to match, because even from slab to slab, because of the depth of it coming out of the ground, it can change just a little bit. Yeah. So you have to be really careful on your layout. So it takes 
a lot of patience and time to get it correct. And we had our video, if you didn't see part two, how long does it take you to match one of these up? It takes a while, right? I might spend two or three hours looking at something and then I give up and go do something else and I'll come back to it and spend a few hours and then I'll look at it the next day and I have to think about it, I gotta sleep on it. And then I'll, I'll, I'll come to a, a layout that I like and there we go. Right. Man, it is absolutely beautiful. With this granite, we went with a, what would they call this, a rolled edge? Yeah, this is a, a bullnose edge, but this bull is bigger. It's two and a quarter yeah. instead of the standard inch and a half, and it just gives the countertop a lot more depth. Oh, oh man, it looks like a thicker piece of stone. Oh, yeah. I want to go over here, too. Can I, I want to show them over here where they can kind of see that you actually match up the bottom with the top, right? right? right. So when you see it, it looks like it's flowing over the edge. Look right. at this. this. This piece is laminated on here. And that has to match, it has to flow down the countertop. Man, that is seamless. And it's so smooth. You, you put your hand on that. You, yeah. I mean, it's almost like it's not even there. Yeah, you grind and polish that, and actually in your final polish, you're using di diamond pads to get that, that finish. Man, that is amazing. It is just, I mean, you can spend hours just coming in here and looking at this stuff, man. It's just, it's a piece of artwork. Really, you could take, we talked about this, you could take a, a slab of this and throw it up on your wall. Hang it on the wall. And people would call it art. Right, oh yeah. 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 Very beautiful. So let's get into the uh, backdrop here. And uh, now let's, you know, there was kind of a, a risky thing that we did. Now we took an exterior brick that most people would use on the exterior and right. we brought it inside because the whole idea for this uh, overhaul was we wanted to complement the safari stuff we have in here and give it this Indiana Jones style feel. And uh, man, I think that this really set oh, that yeah. off. That, that brick was a perfect choice. I, I know you and I talked about it and I thought it would look really good. And I was thinking now, I mean, I now thinking it looks way better than I thought it would in the first place. I did too. In fact, you got to have a little bit of creative mind to get there. Right. You know, when they were, when the guys were coming here unboxing it, I really questioned, oh man, I hope I didn't make a mistake here. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. And I was like, man, I hope that this isn't going to be something where I'm knocking the, the back out of it, but, or you guys are. But man, that came out great, man. It just looks, I mean, literally, it looks like the Indiana Jones ride at it Disneyland. Does. It does, man. And we're gonna show you the fireplace here that complements it all. And uh, man, that is spectacular. Of course, we upgraded the, all the appliances to a, a GE Slate. And I gotta put a real quick call out to earners because we had ordered some up from a box store and they gave us a call so they wouldn't have it for a couple months. We called up earners and they had it here in two days. So we were able to finish this project up just in time for the magazine. That's one of the biggest, hurdles sometimes in a project like this is a lot of things you're trying to get aren't available so it's, it takes a lot of time and effort to get here all at one time. Right. I want to talk about the cabinets too because these were originally a, uh, what, what do they call it, that honey? They were honey oak. Honey oak yeah. in every house in the oh, 1990s, yeah. right? Exactly, yeah. And uh, they got a coat of a dark ebony and then, then they were aged or antiqued, antiqued. by going over it with some, uh, we actually did this, this is something that anybody could do, but we actually uh, antique these. And why is that good? Because if you have kids. It's forgiving. Very forgiving. I mean, you cannot have nice stuff with. It's a lot easier to touch up too. Oh, yeah, it's like, it's just no brainer, man. Right. Of course, we went to the, uh, are they call these profile? Yeah, G profile. G profiles, right? And it was kind of nice. This was a cool selection they had because not only, usually they have the electric burners in the right. profile, and this was kind of a hybrid which had the profile but still had the gas. It's really nice because it's got that flat surface and easy to clean. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. You know what, Pat? I think one of the things I like most about this is the openness that bringing it down from the two levels. Mm -hmm. When it was the two levels, it felt like there was a big wall right here. Oh, yeah, there was a wall. It was huge. And then now, look. It's just open. Yeah. Everything's open. Yeah, if you can imagine that countertop this much higher and it closed in the kitchen from this side and then this room from that side and it, yeah, it does create a little wall. Yeah, it, it's crazy. And now the, the space on this, the, the one level, um, I feel like you can put more oh, stuff yeah. on it. You have the same surface area too, but it's just much larger and it appears twice as big. It's, it's just outstanding. It, I can't be more happy and Good. pleased with what we've got going on here and the flow from this room to this room to even our outside. Yeah. It's just great. Good. I like to hear that. <laughs> One of the things we got rid of was the split sink and went right. to a tub, right? This, is this yeah, more the, popular now? This is the, the hot thing, single, single compartment sink. It is. Yeah, I mean, 
uh, probably 80% of the sinks we're putting in are either a single sink like this or a single sink or compartment with an apron front. Right. Uh, it's just easier to get big pots and pans in. It's just much more forgiving. You know, one of the selections that I thought that we did, because originally this was going to be white, right? right? And then we thought, man, that's going to stick out like it a sore thumb. Yeah. It would have just stood out in right. this whole thing. So we went with this, and I, they might not be able to pick it up, but what is this called? This has like a... a composite sink. It's a composite. Yeah. Right? It has like pieces. There's, there's shiny stone in there. Uh, yeah, there is. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got... Is it like chopped up granite or it something? It is chopped up granite. It is. Yeah. Wow, I don't think you can see that, but it's sparkling. You can see the sparkles in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's so nice, man. And they're they're, they're uh, not super expensive either. Really? Yeah, actually, you can get one of these for a little bit less than a cast iron sink. Same, no kidding? Same size, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Of course, everything. You know what's amazing, too, is the cuts that you guys do. Because this has to be perfect. Oh, right? yeah, you can't miss. You can't mess on this. I mean, you yeah. if you screw up on this, it's yeah. going to stand out like a sore thumb. And you're going to ruin yeah. all of this, right? Thousands and, and thousands of dollars in yeah. material. And you know the thing is, like, they they didn't have any more of this fusion. No. You're not going to get... So you can't just say, oh, okay, I screwed this side up. Let me order up another one of those. You can't get another piece because it's cut in succession. Yeah. And it's numbered. It comes out of a crate. So if you're 10 slabs back, it's not going to match. Right. Because of the depth of the ground that it comes out of the pattern right. is totally different. It might be the same color, but the pattern changes in size. Yeah, it would stick out. It wouldn't look yeah. like a matching yeah. set, man. Right. So there's a lot of pressure on you. Oh, yeah. You can't screw up, right? <laughs> no. I mean, there's a lot of Come money on, on the line. That's it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's it. And it's, I mean, you can put your hand on here and just roll around the bottom and it's seamless, man. Yeah. So good. Since you're talking about the sink too, one of my favorite things that I wasn't sure how they were going to do it is our garbage disposal and then we have lights above here so i was trying to think where are they going to put our light switch all the electrical yeah. outlets because oh, yeah. well, we had a, on the res we had a raised ledge right here and it had everything it had our garbage disposal it had all of our electrical right and uh pat you installed an, an air, air switch, switch right it's here just just like that and yeah so a way easy uh, solution if you want to get rid of that raised bar uh, yeah. to put that air switch in right it's simple yeah. Also, too, we also eliminated the pour spout that came out of the right, washing yeah. machine. That's right. annoying and oh, yeah. messy. That looks. This doesn't look good up there. No. So no. And then, yeah, we moved the. Uh, there's switches back here. All the electrical. This is actually pushed back a little bit further than it needs to be. But there's actually a switch for the lights right here. Everything there is out of sight, out of mind, and a lot cleaner. Nice and clean. Very clean. Let's make a way over to the okay. fireplace because that is spectacular. Okay. Well, here's our fireplace that uh, we overhauled with the kitchen. And uh, Pat, I think you made an excellent decision because we had tumblestone on there before and I was hesitant, ma'am, we, do we really need to pull it out? Can we just put the granite on the bottom and call it? But you said, no, it needs to come out. And yeah. man, I think you made the right call. Yeah, it just wasn't gonna go, I don't think. <laughs> no, it looks, I'm glad you, you made that call. Yeah. And what well, was that? Yeah, I, I try not to spend too much of your money, but you know, I figured it was important. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. If you pan over here, you know, we've got the, outside tropical theme you know of the backyard and now with this done you know in the kitchen it just brings that all together in here it's like this endless piece of you know art that is brought into the home you know with this new design on the interior so it's you know it's kind of neat how that all came together yeah i think it goes with your your thing it's yeah. probably yeah. perfectly right we talked about uh, granite trends and stuff like that you know white's in right now oh yeah Right, yeah, everybody's right. getting white and gray. White and gray, that's a safe choice. Right, but in this house, yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Do so different. you have to kind of go with what works in your home. Right, right. And, and most often, I try to tell people to figure out their color scheme and what they want it to look like, and go pick up your slabs first, and then you can design everything around that. Yeah, man, I love this so much. It, it literally reminds me of the Indiana Jones ride at Disney, and <laughs> it is that cool. I mean, that's what we wanted because. You know, this brick, as we mentioned before, you know, this is more of an exterior brick, you know, and it's brought in here and you can see, I'll kind of zoom in here and it's not perfect. It's like, there's a lot of imperfections. It's very rustic. Yeah, it's very rustic and there's a lot of imperfections. And um, one of the things that we did too, is that we did grout it and then we raked it a little bit so it would still have that rustic outdoor look to it, feel. right? It has like an outdoor feel to it. And I think it's, it's just, it's perfect. It kept it from being a solid wall and turned it back into these, you know, Rustic bricks. Individual bricks so yeah. they don't blend together so much. Right, very cool. And of course here you can see the beautiful fusion granite cutting across the bottom. Really nice. One of the things we added to this kitchen was LED puck lighting. 
uh, these little pucks, you just put them right under the cabinets and I had the option of either wiring it or going with a battery and uh, we just went with the battery one. It lasts over 120 hours with a couple of AA batteries and it's all on remote control and we have some on the top which you probably can't see and we have a couple there but what's really cool is we actually added them, added them to the bottom of this and at night it looks fantastic man. Lighting does a lot, yeah. does a lot for a kitchen. Really inexpensive way to come get your LED lighting under your cabinets. Yeah. I think we did with all this and one more thing we're going to show you, I think we're under 60 bucks. That's awesome. Can't beat that, right? You can't beat that, yeah. Yeah. And you can do it yourself. And you do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> one of the last things we did on this project or came up with was stoning out the face of the bar. And uh, kind of ran it by Pat. I said, Pat, what do you think on this? Because it was just black paint and it looked kind of dark. The house looked dark right here. And um, I threw it by Pat and Pat said, you know what? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I was, I was in agreement. That was a good idea on your part. Yeah. You know what I like about it too is it takes a home that, I mean, I'm not saying this was a track house, but it was a, it really makes the house look like a custom built home. It makes it different. It's not that it's different than the other, your neighbor's house. It just has its own character. Right. You know, the thing is too, is you walk in this home now and you know, if we ever sell it down the road, someone's going to walk in, someone would walk in here and say, Whoa, did you see that kitchen? Right. And this is the first thing they see. And it's one of the most important things that you, you put your money into. You get your best dollar value out of remodeling a kitchen. Right. Well, and here's the last part of this build. And that is the B tough headquarters here. This is the computers that makes it all happen. And man, we brought the theme over here with a couple pedestals. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. Pedestals. And we uh, tiled them with the brick. Mm -hmm. A little bit smaller version of the brick that we have out there. But we tiled them with the same brick pattern. Of course, brought that beautiful fusion granite over. One solid piece. How long is this? It's about nine and a half feet long. Nine and a half feet, man. It's a big countertop. And it's, just, it's actually suspended by uh, a metal subframe that we welded up and built. So that uh, it's, it's got the structure to it. Right. So you don't have to worry about having all that structure underneath. So you were concerned about that. The yeah. table being so long yeah. that it had too much gap. Yeah. Because the, the stone itself, it, you know, it's not as, it's strong, but you want to have that metal support to keep it from like sagging or maybe get a little crack someday, but we won't have to worry about that with the metal subtop. Yeah. And of course we added the puck lighting underneath it. Very simple. Just stick and go with some remotes. And uh, man, just a beautiful piece. It actually feels cool, like on my arms and stuff when I'm working on it. And I'll show you real quick how beautiful this is. And of course, that same beautiful fusion granite coming all the way through. And you know the th the reason why we did this is because we had some we had an extra slab left over, and so or half a slab. Right. And so, like, what else are you going to do with it? Put it in the. You might as well use it. You might as well use it when you put it in the garage. So we did it, and it's beautiful. Yeah. And I think you saved some money based on making a, a, a furniture built cabinet. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. We almost forgot, look at these amazing things that were made out of um, the leftover granite. And let me bring it right over here so you can see that it actually matches perfectly um, to your countertops. They're little cutting boards, or you can use them as hot plates, hot plates anything. People like set their drinks on, yeah. right? Yeah, and if you look at the back, there's little rubber feet on there, so, so it doesn't, damage it doesn't anything. slide around because if yeah, you didn't neat. have those feet, it would slide and it doesn't scratch anything. And you can cut yeah. how many you want or different sizes. You can make coasters and everything. Yeah, you, right? we, we've made lazy Susans before. Really? Round circle and you attach the lazy Susan. Wow, the that's cool. The it's, it's the same thing, you just use the leftovers. Yeah, super neat. Yeah, they're really good for like a hot pot or pan when you have a lot of people over. You, you want to get all the food out there hot at one time and set it on there. And, yeah, because that's right, you don't want to set it on your counter with the hot. Well, you can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You well, can. Let me ask you that real quick. How much damage can these things take? Let's talk yeah. about it. The, 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 hot, the heat's not going to hurt anything. Huh. Yeah. No. It's what no. I was worried about. No, not at all. I mean, you'd have to heat up a, a hot skillet, red hot, and you'd have to work at it. <laughs> damage. I mean, right. Do they scratch easy? Do they cut like with knives? Is the knife going to cut it very easy? Uh, it's, it's, probably, it's probably not the best thing. It's just more, you know, you can use it for uh, occasional use because it could dull the knife. Mm -hmm. Not like a wood or plastic cutting board, but the, be the best thing is just use them for hot, hot, hot plates. You know what I found and too? They're decorative. Yeah, one thing too is like, you know, there was a little pinpoint thing on the, the little, that you could barely feel with your fingers. You can actually repair some stuff. You actually yeah. do repair on granite. And I couldn't even yeah. tell when they were done. 
I looked and I'm picky. I look close and I'm like, I can't tell. I can't even tell where it is now. So you can't repair oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Granite. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's easier to repair granite than a piece of man made quartz. Really? By far. Because you got a lot of movement in it. Yeah. And different colors and you can kind of hide it. Okay. Yeah, very cool. Well, I want to say that you guys have outdid yourself. Uh, I want to thank you and Tony from Stockdale Tile. And uh, now I'm telling you, if you have to get some granite work done, these guys are top notch, man. I'm, I'm not just saying that because you're standing in front of me. I'm just, Pat's a great guy. You learn that real fast when you start talking to him. I'm sure Nicole's happy with everything. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Now, if we can keep these kids to keep this place clean, that's a that's a different, you need to get that kind of service going. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway. Work on that. Very cool. This is coming out in our next issue. We got we barely got this in. We're going to print on the new edition of Bakersfield Tough. You can catch it inside there. And uh, thanks for joining us. Very cool, Pat. Thank you. All right. This is Billy at Bakersfield Tough. This is our home kitchen makeover.